Hello there guys, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. Today I'm very excited because we have a very exciting tutorial for you guys. In this tutorial, you're gonna learn a lot of things. You're gonna learn how to create very dangerous weapons in Roblox. I'm gonna give you two different examples and maybe you can even monetize those weapons and make Roblox. Let's take for example here, I have a game and I have a very dangerous weapon with me. The weapon is I can make an explosion anywhere I want. For example, here I'm gonna blow up this wall here. All I have to do is point to it and it, I can make it blow up. I'm gonna blow up the base plate here. I'm gonna blow up, what else can I blow up? Maybe this wall over here. And maybe this brick here. This brick here. Alright, so now let's go to studio and let's take a look at how to create this weapon. Alright, so here we are inside Roblox Studio and to set this up, first thing we want to do is we want to go to our replicate storage and we want to add a remote event. You can name your remote event create explosion. Next, we're going to go to our starter player scripts and we're going to add a local script, name it set bomb. And this is our set bomb script. Again, it is a local script. Here we're getting the, the usual things. We're getting the player service, the local player. And this here is something new that we've never seen before. So we're getting the mouse of the local player where we can access the position of the hit property of the mouse to get the location of the mouse cursor. On the next line here, we're using context action service to bind our B key on our keyboard to this action, which is this function right here. The next two lines here, we're declaring the replicate storage and the remote event inside the replicated storage. All right, so the way this weapon works is the player is gonna position the mouse cursor where he or she wants to create an explosion. For example, if I want to make an explosion right here at this location of the mouse, I'm going to put my mouse here and I'm going to press the B key to set off the bomb. So when I hit the B key, I'm going to connect to this function. And basically this function, it's going to get the position of my mouse cursor and it's going to pass that position to the server because we want a server script to create the explosion. Inside the server script service, I have another script called create explosion. This is where we're catching the event that is being fired from the client. The player is passed in automatically. And remember, we're passing in the position from the client side to indicate the position of the player's mouse by calling this function. So we're passing in the position of the mouse cursor. And this function is going to create an explosion at that same exact position. Let us play test and take a look. Let me blow up this red ball here. I'm going to position my mouse cursor at the red ball. I'm going to press B. Boom. What about this ball here? Oh, look, I set off the, the, at the explosion. This ball is going to explode. And how about this brick here? So now you have a very powerful weapon for your robot game. You can blow up anything you want inside your Roblox game. Let's go back to studio and we want to look at another example. The next example is a very interesting example as well. So now I'm going to go to my set bomb local script. I'm going to disable that local script and I'm going to bring up the kill closest player script. Also, this script is a local script. And in this case, we're going to use what we learned from our prior tutorial on how to get the closest player. So we already know how to get the closest player from our prior tutorial. We're going to use that function to get the closest player to our mouse cursor. And we're going to set off the bomb to kill the closest player to the mouse cursor. Does that sound like fun? If yes, then stick around and we're going to take a look right now at how to do it. So again, all these are pretty much the same as our other example earlier. And these we have learned from our prior tutorial on how to get the closest player. 
Basically, we're passing in a target position, which is our mouse cursor. So let's move down to here. This is where we're binding the B key on our keyboard to this function on action. When the player presses the B key, it's going to call this function. Again, we're getting the current mouse position of the local player who presses the B key, presses the B key. And we're passing in the mouse position to this function to get the closest player. The function is going to return the player who is the closest to this mouse position. We're checking to make sure the player has a humanoid root card, which means it is a player. And then we're firing a remote event to the server so that the server can create an explosion, same as we've seen earlier in our earlier example. To test this, I'm gonna go to my test tab and I'm gonna test with two players. Let's take a look. So here, on the left side here, is my player number two. This is player number two, this is player number one. Now if I put my cursor, it doesn't have to be on player number one. It only has to be somewhere near player number one. And I press B, it kills player number one. So this is a very powerful weapon, even more powerful than our prior weapon. Because you don't have to hit the target. It's like you just have to place the target anywhere close to the player that you want to kill and press B and the player is dead. The only drawback with this weapon is if you by accident put it near your character and you press B, you're gonna blow yourself up. So it's like a real gun, if you point at yourself and you pull the trigger, you're gonna blow yourself up. But if you point at your opponent and pull the trigger, then you can kill your opponent. Same thing with player number one here. So this is player number one. If I go over here, I blow up. Well, if I put the cursor closer to myself first and I press B, I kill myself. But if I put the cursor somewhere closer to player number two or any other player in the game and I press B, it's gonna kill the closest player. Isn't that an awesome weapon, guys? And again, if you wanna monetize it, you can set it up as a dev product or a game pass and you can earn some Robux for your Roblox game. All right, guys, hope you have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you again in our next tutorial. Take care, everyone.